hear that sound of an SCV building something, you know it's a Terran. Genair Green Wings Cure. To the top of the map at the one o'clock expansion in green. Appropriately. Yeah. Part of Genair Green Wings. Interesting to me that you choose this map. I mean, it's really like saying, like, sup, I want to play you in late game. <laughs> I mean, how many times do you have a Terran player pick Frost against Zerg? Or Ultrazine? Mm. Like, that's basically what we're seeing here. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I wonder if he'll go mech, actually, on this map. We haven't really seen that yet. That I don't would know be if it could be good, but could be. I don't remember a game where I've seen Cure play mech, actually. Nothing really stands out in my mind. Yeah, same here. I think he's done it once in Pro League. But the yeah. game doesn't really stick out to me like reality mech games or flash Maybe. mech games do. And Hydra is going pool first on this gigantic map. Into gas. Yeah. Are roaches. we going to see another Roach I think, rush? I think Roaches, man. I think Roaches are on the menu, dude. Roaches are down the pipe, man. Yeah. I think Roaches are uh, in the Jack in the Box, man. I think Roaches what, what are. What does that even mean? They're on <laughs> pop out, man. I think oh. I think Roaches are under the bed, dude. I think yeah. roaches are hiding in the couch. <laughs> I think roaches in your sister's closet, man. Yeah. I think uh, I think roaches uh, are you know in that drawer you forgot about. Them. I'm about to open it up and find them. It's gonna pop out. Uh, we'll see. Just look Could just way. be like a super fast speedling opening where you rush out and try to harass your opponent and deny his command center. Yeah. That doesn't really pop out. That just kind of is. Yeah, it just kind of is. We'll see. He's still mine out of three. He's getting closer to 100. Yeah. Obviously, no war in yes, just yet. Ooh. But he doesn't want to uh, be seen here. And he stops mining with two. He keeps one in the gas. That's what he's mining with right now. And that Reaper will be able to see it. No. Oh, there we go. Does micro that one drone. Very nicely done. And it will be pushed out. Nice cancel. Well, uh. Definitely not to be a fake speed, doesn't look like. Reaper wants to verify that it's still researching. As well as get a kill here. Oh. And he gets it. No micro on that one. We did say earlier Hydra looked a little bit tired. So maybe coming into play here, his reactions maybe not the fastest today. Yeah, possibly. A little bit more harassment with this Reaper, just trying to find anything he can. It's like Queen isn't out yet. Speed is almost done. But what's it for? Well, he's only kept that one drone in the gas still. I mean, I think he wants to wait until maybe the Reaper harass is done, but... So they come over here and pick up another drone. At least force another cancel. Could he get caught? Oh! Oh, so close. <laughs> Just slipped by. Here's just slipped so out cool of the grasp. Double CC, by the way. Yep. Gear's done this build pretty much every game. Well, at least with the three CCs. I mean, the first game he went with the Macarax and some Marines. Yep. Maybe that's what actually sparked Hydra to do that rush, Roach Rush in the first game. Because he knew it would go unscouted. As long as he could clear the Watchtowers. Yeah. But in the end... Not gonna work out. I mean, it could just be a safety speed for his early to help deal with Reapers, but I don't know. I like the Overlord spread here. Two Overlords coming out to spot all different locations where he could approach. Even a third Overlord at the bottom of his main. This Overlord over here is gonna get chased away. Tech Lab on the way here. No Starport. Yeah. That's just the way of getting three CCs. A Hydra back at his base. He gets a third base and a lair the same time. Well, uh, this is not an engagement he can win, but he can definitely poke at it. Getting the queen with the least amount of hit points. And the most amount of energy. Yes, that's what I meant to say. I mean, obviously she became the one with the least amount of hit points after she was targeted. Yeah. Happened to the third Reaper. Did he lose it? I'm not sure. It's a nice mystery. Story. May have just disappeared. Could have just left it at home, I suppose, but didn't see much use in that. 
And Hydra really joining up here. He's pretty much stuck on those uh, Zerglings that he made in the beginning. He's trying to defend with this with only Queens, but that hatch is getting pretty low. Yeah, it is. And two of these, are, or rather a lot of these Zerglings are over here dealing with just two of these Hellions. I think I actually might be able to just target down the hatchery. I'll lose a Hellion, but I think if you just burst this, there's no transfuse. Ah, he's got some transfuse though. He scans. There's transfuse energy though. He has to target the Queen down first. He's forced to use transfuses on the Queens to keep it alive. Especially because it had so much energy for transfuse, but now it's gonna kill the last of the queens, and this hatchery is gonna go down. One more click, and it goes down. Too late with the units. Hydra being a bit too greedy with the droning. Yep. Gonna lose a lot of these uh, Hellions, but at least he gets the most value out of them before they die here in the back corner. But I think it's worth it to kill a hatchery. Keep Zerg on two base while you have three CC, and have a very competitive worker count. Yeah. Third and fourth refineries going up to add for those eBay's. One one upgrade started instantly here. Hellions get caught again, cost them a lot. Yeah. This time Hydra paying attention to his lanes. We'll get this around, not just run by. Spire is done here so early that he might be able to keep uh, cure at bay for a little while. Yeah. Eight meters coming out. It's pretty amazing that on this map he was able to snipe a hatchery even with Hellions and Reapers. It's no easy feat. Yeah. Hydra's just a bit too greedy, and you know, it is very, very far away from that natural. That is one thing to note here. It does take Hydra a long time to spread that creep over there, so. Yeah, true. The queens got there a little bit slower. Well, the 1 1 upgrade's holding strong here. Hydra is going to want to get his upgrades of his own pretty soon. Six Hellions, only 10 Marines. The army supply here pretty weak for Cure. He's had a good economy, but he needs to start backing it up with all these additional barracks he's adding. Turret's not done here on the main base. That Hellion group is not going to help, but here comes some Marines now, finally. Turret looks like it will finish, but may require some repairs. Does get warded off. The uh, turret likely will burn, actually, when it finishes, though, if he does not repair. And it's not that. Though. It's pretty close. It gets pretty close. Loses two mutas for getting about one SCV. They're not the most efficient trade. Now he's going to come try to trade over this turret. Takes a bit of damage. He's going to lose another muta there. Yep. <laughs> he's just uh, floating around over here looking for opportunities. Opportunistic mutalists. All these SCVs are pretty low, so that's why uh, he feels comfortable doing this. Army supply now is starting to get into Cure's favor. He's got that third base landing. He's got a strong army with much faster upgrades. Hydra very far behind in that regard. And because he has his army for so long, he can start 2 2. And geez, those Mutas took a lot of losses there. Yeah. Definitely not the best trades with the Mutas. Even trying to fight Marines head on. I guess he's just trying to keep Cure back or something. I'm not sure. Well, um. <laughs> Excuse me. There's the 2-2 upgrade started. Combat shield's about to finish as well. Once he has all these things, plus Hellbats, as you can see here, you can actually start being aggressive. Even with Mutalis on the map, there's their Mutalis count has been such uh, so diminished that if he just adds an additional turret to each of his bases, I feel like he can do a lot. Catches these Morphing Banelings, forces cancel on those, gets an Overlord. I think good for Cure right now. Yeah. And if you consider the map size, yeah, it's a big map. But if you look at third base to third base, it's not the biggest rush distance, really. True. Just got to go down on this creep, and it's up one ledge, and you're pretty much there. Good direction to run. Yeah. You go straight at the at the ramp, and then you just keep going straight until you hit another ramp, and you're there. Uh, <laughs> much less complicated than navigating Final Fantasy VII. Yes. There's like a helper button for that. Uh, this is Overlord. Just wanted to know what it would be like to die to a turret. Looks like know. actually fake drops. Oh! So the medivacs are four. Not usually, but in this case. Not even healing all those SCVs. Yeah. Tip for, for you guys, a little trivia point. SCVs are one of the only units in the game, if not the only. Actually, I think they are the only mechanical and biological units. Wow. They're actually going to crush all of those, but this is what's more important. Needs to pull those SCVs away. Big hit on a lot of stuff over there. It kills a lot of workers. 
Cost get some of the Marines lot, as well. Though, you know? Cost yeah. a lot of Banelings here. He's morphing 10 more to go for another attack. He's just trying to do these like tricky, sneaky tactics, and yeah. this really is what Hydra likes to do, but Pure is so close to his third base, he's just going to walk over, clear a bunch of creep, and like I said, he's right there. Really, really close. He has to be careful on the creep. There are still a lot of Banelings. Looks like there was another hit there. And here we go, Banelings rolling in, but the splits are good. Splits decent over here as well. And uh oh, Cure's attack is looking really scary now. He needs more Banelings to defend this. He's deciding how he wants to split his army. He goes in for the kill here on this base. Hellbats at the front to tank. Here come those Banelings hitting mostly Hellbats. But now the Marine count here is totally fine to deal with these Banes as long as he splits them. And split he does. And now we can actually move forward and deal with the Mutalists. There's so many Medivacs here to help heal. This is yeah. to make sure he uses them. And oh, this is not any good engagement for Hydra to take with those Mutalists. His army count is so low right now. Hellbat over here, gonna do so much at the back. I don't think he should be fighting this like this. I mean, yeah, he's gonna clean it up eventually, but he's costing him way too many units. With the parade push coming across the map, this is gonna actually, uh, you know, wear him out. He's gonna run out of army units. This base is gonna have to go down. He's, he's just gonna have to let it go. Yeah. He's gonna Sweet. try to save it with like a few more links and a few more mutas. But but good targets, but the Banelings will roll through here, and they are going to clean it up for now. There are more units parading across the map, but it looks like he has held it for now at the expense of, you know, a lot of these really expensive mutas. I think that's the biggest thing here for Hydra. Yeah, he has no no more muta ball. Expensive mutalists, expensive Banelings lost. He's got 11 lings and 3 mutas. That's his army. Yeah. Whereas 20 marines and 9 medivacs, plus the production that Cure has with all those mules he's dropping, is pretty good. Like in the always the Hellbat placement is really good at the front here. Splitting again against these Banelings is Kira now, and he's just starting to wear him down. He's just continuing to attack. If the map were a little bit smaller, this game might have ended a little bit differently a little bit earlier. There's another reason why I thought it was kind of strange he picked this map, but it seems to be working out for him. This hatch will go down this time for sure. And now he can actually start taking out some of these drones. Yeah. Hydra's just barely trying to hang on here. He's making a gigantic amount of Banelings. But Kier's doing the right thing. He's going to start dropping. Can definitely try to go into the main base. Maybe go to that fourth base if he identifies that it's up. And it looks like Hydra's going to try to surround here, try to come from two locations, but ends up just sacrificing a bunch of his units that he can't really sacrifice at this moment. 50 more. So probably GG. Right here. He just GG's out. Wow. That was a kind of anticlimactic GG, but Cure just constantly attacking, constantly being aggressive, going, 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 and then he just got worn down. Yeah. I think the map definitely playing in Cure's favor. I, I like the fact that he picked that map. Um, definitely showing his skill there in the mid game. He was able to just be a lot closer to the third base of Hydra uh, compared to, you know, King Save Zone Station, where those third bases are so far apart. Yeah. Uh, tough loss there for Hydra, but. I'm really feeling cured today. I think he's he's on fire, he's looking really good. And uh, our next match puts Rain up against Impact. I think uh, everyone's feeling like Rain is going to win that. And uh, if what most people predict comes true, really looking forward to seeing how Cure does against the matchup against Protoss. Uh, before we get that way to that point, we're going to see the next matchup. And before that, we're going to take a five-minute break. So stay tuned. <laughs> 